Hey guys, today I wanted to show you a cool floating bubble feature when you use the Google Phone app. When you're in a phone call and you go to the home screen or switch apps, a floating bubble will pop up allowing you to turn on the phone speaker, mute the microphone, or hang up while you're in another app. It's a feature Google is currently testing. It works perfectly fine with no instability, so you can expect to see this feature within the app publicly at some stage in the future. It's really hidden, so you won't be able to enable it in the settings, but if you don't want to wait and you want it now, I'll show you how to enable it on your device. Just make sure you're at least on Android Marshmallow or above. Anyways, there are two ways you can enable this feature. The first one is for non-rooted users, and the second one is for rooted users. I'll show off the non-rooted method first. Basically, a developer on XDA who goes by the username imarbot took the Google Phone APK and modified it to have the floating bubble feature enabled automatically. So all you need to do is download the latest patched APK from their XDA forums page. I'll leave that link right below that like button and install the app. Once installed, make sure to disable your original phone app through the settings. If you can't because your phone's manufacturer won't let you, <coughs> Samsung, then just make sure the default calling slash phone app is set to the modified Google phone app you just installed. You also need to allow a permission to modify the system settings and to draw over other apps. These two steps are important, so make sure you do this or you'll just get your regular phone app with no floating bubble feature. It's a much more simple process than the root method, but the only downside is you will need to check back on the forum to see if they updated it with new features that Google released or if bugs were fixed. For the rooted users, you can still use the previous method, or you also have the option of modifying a certain line of code within the original Google Phone app found on the Play Store. This method is great if you still want to get notified when there is an update available for the app on the Play Store. This is also relatively simple, just make sure you do exactly what I tell you to do. First, make sure you have the latest version of Google Phone. If I were you, I would download the latest version through APK Mirror. Then you need to enable it as the default calling app within the settings and give it permission to modify the system settings and draw over other apps. Next, download a root enabled file explorer. For this method, I'm going to use Me Explorer. I'll drop a link to that as well. Open it, give it root access and go to the root page. From there, navigate to data slash data slash com dot google dot android dot dialer slash share underscore prefs. Here you'll see various XML files. Look for dialer phenotype flags.xml and open it with text editor. You should see several lines of code. Just look for the Boolean string titled G enabled return to call bubble and change the value to true by erasing false and typing it in with your keyboard. Now save it and force close the Google phone app and that's it. Congratulations, you now have the secret feature. Also, I wanted to give a huge thanks to Chethin for creating some of my previous video thumbnails. You should check out his channel if you want to learn more about graphic design and see other amazing artwork. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome tutorials and mods such as this one, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!